Hey guys, today we're going to work on getting more rack ahead speed uh, using a rope just to indicate like how professionals really get that rack ahead going quickly. So the physics of, uh, of a whip, if I want to use this as a whip, is that if I want to generate a lot of pace at the end of the whip, I have to bend it and then release it all together and it comes out together at the end. So when I when I release this and come out and try to whip it, kind of like a, a wet towel, if you ever use that, you can sling it back and forth. That's the same idea that I can generate a lot of uh, pace and a lot of force at the end of this, just like my racket. So the idea is the serve kind of makes sense, right? So if I'm serving, I want to bend my wrist, my elbow, my shoulder, and then it's going to come all the way together at the right at the same exact time like a whip to come together and make contact with the ball all at once. That's how you can generate a lot of pace with the serve. So you're going to have a lot of bent. You're going to bend at the parts of your arm that you can, and then you're going to go straight as soon as you can at the, at the all at the same time like a whip would. But the one thing I want to mention though is how to do it with your forehand and backhand, and that's a little bit more uh, tricky. So the idea though is when professionals, you know, like they're going to swing, they're going to do this. When their racket bat is back, the gap between their elbow and their side is not as, it's, it's very much, it's a smaller gap than when they finish. So they're going inside out. Notice the gap is much bigger. So they're actually using their, their arm like a whip, right? So they're close and then they're out. They're close and then they're out. That allows them to get a big whipping motion. You'll see that when the pros do it. You know, you, it's hard to have them, when you see it from the side, you're not able to see the gap and do that. But if you see their front motion and you see this swing, they're able to come out and notice the elbow is a lot further out. Now, this isn't for every swing. I mean, if I'm being, the ball's hit hard at me, I want less moving parts, right? So I don't want to bend that. And I'm just going to come across here, and I, this is my pivot point, and I'm just going to come over the ball here. But if I really want to generate some pace, I really want to get that elbow off my body, and then that allows my rack ahead to get a lot faster, okay? This is the same on the backhand where I'm coming out, and then I'm going out for, I'm starting in, and then I'm going out to the ball. So I'm out, I'm in, and then I'm out. So try to think about where your elbow is to the side of your body and where it is when you finish, and then maybe you can generate a little bit more pace by using the physics, basically, of, of a whip and thinking about how your arm could be that whip. Inside, out. Inside, out. Inside, out. Okay? So try that out with a loose grip, and you should be able to generate some significant force on the ball and increase the, your ground stroke power, and even on the serve if you haven't done that already. So give it a try. Good luck.